Okay, I just want to get this out since the 5th gen is coming soon. Like, very, very soon. Their debut dates would be released the days after their days after. Ever since I've been in this VTuber dilemma when I discovered Hololive in the Azerlang crossover to get their intention, which it worked for me, my first ever video watching them discussing about keeping a Frappuccino as a pet, to watching a variety of clips, to watching their live stream, to admitting Kiryu Koko as top tier dragon waifu, to YouTube giving me recommendations to many VTubers. Yeah, I think there's no going back for me. As of now, I've been watching VTubers, mostly Hololive, and I practically know everyone's names so far. Now that they're coming this month, I've been wanting to make this video for my first impression on them and what they'd be like if they ever make their debut. I don't know, maybe this video would be uploaded the day after. But hey, I'll try before that happens. Now I'm going to put up a disclaimer just to let everyone know this. I'm not judging them in any offensive way. I am only saying this from my own personal opinion. I do not intend to say anything rude to them. If I am, then please know that I deeply apologize because I don't want to offend on anybody else on behalf of this video. So without further ado, let's get started. Now let's see what the fifth gen looks like. Okay, from looking at this, there are five of them. I'm not sure if the other gens had five, but there's five of them. And looking at them, they look nice. But let's get into the first one. Yuki Hana Lami. Okay, it says a snow elf from a noble family renowned in the remote land of silver. Hmm. She decided to leave her home along with her companion Daifuku. After her heart was touched by the fun and colorful streams from Hololive, her serious personality belies her naive, sheltered nature. Now, I could tell that her name comes from Yuki, meaning snow, which I would expect. At first, I thought she'd be some kind of devil, but it's a given that she's a snow elf. And the art style, very nice. Golden eyes, heart-shaped ahoge, which is really cute, and those blue hair linings that really fits the color. Oh, and the flower pin too, very cute. But I'm impressed that the illustrator could draw the fluffs around her arms, if that's what you call them. I wonder how she does that along with those Frills! Yeah, that's exactly what I was looking at. And there's also a companion named Daifuku? That sounds familiar, let me check. Okay, so it's either a company name or a confectionery Japanese sweet. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the latter. And looking at this looks really good. Rice cake with red bean and strawberry fillings. Well, it's the image I usually found. I wonder if this Daifuku would be some sort of round creature, like a snow spirit of some kind. I think my first impression of her would be a sort of person that she could be shy, that is unfamiliar with the things around, but is inspired and wants to get into it. I mean, look at me. I don't know how I'm doing this to be a YouTuber, but I'm inspired to become one and have a collab with them someday. And I think I could imagine her having a soft but young voice since she looks short that carefully picks her words in a respective manner. Oh, and pure too. She's very pleasing to the eyes and almost looking like Hoshimachi Suise with her barrette hat. Yes, I looked that up. I didn't know what that was until now. Could she be her little sister? But I'll be looking forward to where she go through this. Momo Suzu Nene, a girl in a Chinese dress who came from another world to chase after her idol dream. She likes singing, dancing, and gyoza. She trains hard every day in order to win the hearts of even more people. Her nickname in her hometown is Taolin. Oh, well, looks like we got another girl that has been isekai I'm not sure if there are other VTubers being isekai but I'm sure there are a few. And as for the art style, um, there's not much to say. I mean, I do like the color transition of cream to pink and the heart-shaped bell hole. It's not bad, it's just doesn't have that much diversity. I think I get the artist's style on keeping it simple since the hair buns does have resemblance to Chinese style, but if that's the artist's preference, then that's their style. I'm sure there are other people who prefers this. As for my impression, I'd say she's more of an outgoing girl who likes to talk to people with a very positive attitude. It says that she likes singing and dancing, which she'd probably be an athletic person, and hey, if anything that involves with moving your body, can athletic. On to the next one. Now this is the VTuber that I'm looking forward to, and that is Shishiro Botan. I'm guessing that Shishiro would derive to white lion, but I do know that chi part would mean lion, but the design on this, mmm, 
Loving it already. The mind of a lazy house cat and the body of a fearsome white lion. She's conscientious. Oh, oh, okay. So that's what it means. And we'll finish what she has started, but good luck getting her to start. Her favorite phrase is go big or go home. Now let's look at the design here. First off, very well endowed. Not gonna lie. And there's white stripes over her dress along with a transparent veal that kind of looks like Adidas, which it does according to Coco. I can easily picture her wearing a tracksuit. Oh, she even has piercing on her lion ear, an ahoke like sabers, and a golden necklace. Reminds me of Black Panther. I wonder if that's intentional. And the coat gives an appearance of either a biker or a gang leader, which I doubt she is. But overall, very nice design. I'm not surprised that Suba is into it. And my impression of her, first and foremost, she does have the appearance to be lazy. I mean, considering that her hair is messy, in a good way, if I were a house guest coming to her place, I wouldn't be surprised if it was a mess. She does have an atmosphere of a mature person, but could actually be an aloof at times. And it says that she's conscient but I think to say that she can be a hard worker. Wait, does that mean I'm also conscientious? But anyways, her overall appearance reminds me of Saber, you know, with her Ahoga and all. Others would also mention Siege from Arknights with her jacket. Even though she'd be lazy, she does have an atmosphere to be carefree. And I think she'd be giving off a slow, dragged roar, like, Gaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
person I'm looking forward to her debut the most. Again, if I say anything offensive to them, then I'm sorry. I may not know who you are or what you would go through, but I don't want to make the same mistake again. You may not understand me since I'm an Asian American. You may not see this since I'm just a small YouTuber inferior to the viewing world pulling through. But if there is any one of you out there watching this, which I doubt, then I hope you enjoyed this. But I hope that you do enjoy of what you do. Lami, Nene, Botan, Alo, Polka. I wish the best of luck to all of your debuts. And I hope the viewers will give you your support and that you can enjoy being with Hololive. And now I need to pull through on mine so I can do wherever I can. But again, good luck to all of you 5th gen members. I hope you have a good day.